This is a response video to Mike Mike Motorcycle about how my petcock works on my Kawasaki. This eventually will probably be an obsolete video except for people that own older motorcycles because now that they're going to fuel injection and no carbs, a lot of bikes don't have a petcock and they actually have a fuel light that comes on when your fuel gets low. But anyway, here is how the petcock works. In the front there is the reserve, down below it's in the on position, and then back there is in the off position. Now mine actually, if you can see, there's a little tube in there that comes up. Well, you can't really see it. It's in the back there, kind of hidden, but it's vacuum operated. So even if it's turned on when the bike stops, it actually has a vacuum shut off. Now, when I am going along, I just reach down and actually you can see the arrow there. I just reach down and then push it forward if I should run out of gas while I'm on a trip. And that gives me about another 50 miles to get to a gas station. And I will show you a picture of how it looks. This is actually, if you could see a cutaway view of it, it's in the on position. It's drawing from this tube right here. And when it drops below the tube, it's going to start drawing air and the bike's going to start stuttering. You switch this lever over to reserve here and it starts drawing out of this bottom tube here. Sometimes this isn't even really a tube so much as it's just a hole drilled in the assembly itself for the petcock. So that's basically how it operates. It draws down the fuel till it hits the top of the tube. Then you're going to feel the bike stutter and lose power then you just move the lever from the on position to the reserve position. In most motorcycles, when you're done with your ride, if it doesn't have a vacuum shut off and just for safety's sake, you want to move it to the off position. Not all motorcycles, it's set up exactly this way. You could have the on here, you could have the reserve down below and off over here, or you could even have it reversed. I've had every form of petcock with almost every position, so you have to actually look. And there's also a little arrow usually on the handle. On the Kawasaki, my arrow points down, as you will see. In the picture here you can see the arrow points down. Not all pet cocks are that way. On some of them the arrow is up here and it points up. So you want to actually put it on the setting of wherever the arrow is pointed to. So that's the basic works and operations of pretty much all pet cocks and some specific information for a Kawasaki EN500 pet cock. Hope that helps you out.